In this video, I will show you how agencies are streamlining their account management and billing for their sub-accounts using VBout. Now you see one of the main hurdles of agencies when running a whole bunch of licenses for their clients is how they are billing the clients, how much the license is costing them, and more importantly, who is paying for this license. In VBout, we solved this problem and we gave you a backend that allows you to handle all of this from one portal. In this example, I'm logged into my agency account. From the top right, you can navigate to Partner Portal. You will see this option called Accounts. All your subs or your clients can be managed through here. You can always add a new account and choose which plan they're on. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. And the moment you complete adding them through here, they will show up on the top right of the screen. So you have an easy switch and log in to each one of those accounts. So let's say I wanna go into uh, black jeans which is just a dummy account here I click on it and now as an agency I'm being redirected to that specific instance now that instance has its own environment limitations features it's fully isolated from your other uh, clients dashboard all right I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my um, main agency account so you can see it right here from the drop down there's an agency option I will click on it and I'll be redirected again. All right, now I will log back to my partner portal from the top right of the screen. And coming back to my accounts tab, you will see all the accounts, including which plan they're on. I can switch between those accounts. I, I will also notice which of those accounts have a credit card on file if they were being built for those licenses and which don't. This grayed out option, that means no credit card. And if I click on this information icon, it shows me what kind of a plan they're on, the basic price for this plan, and what is the selling price for this plan, okay? Also, what is your cost and your monthly recurrent revenue? So for example, this one has $270, it's zero, um, zero dollar recurrent fee. This one is free. You're charging $75 for and you're pocketing $75 more or less minus some fees. So you can see how this cost breakdown works well. And finally, when the person registered, if there's an expiration date and their current status, you can always disable those, those accounts to make them inaccessible. You can also log in to those accounts from here. I like doing it from the top because doing it from here will log me out of my agency. I can process payment on the spot for this account. So if I click it, displays credit card information and you will notice I can create a billing profile specifically for this account and if I click on billing details I can see what kind of inf all the invoice history all the add-ons that were installed I can add them buy new ones or uninstall and of course the payment method on file now here I can have a completely isolated payment profile or I can use my default agency card on file. If that's the case, that means that I am the one billing the end customer separately with my master bill. Perhaps I have my services costing them X amount and now I have a small license fee on top of it and I'm just paying VBOUT my base cost. That cost could be $0 or it could be a, a license fee based on what you choose for the plan. Okay, so by doing that, I don't have an agency profile but these are the options available. Now, when you are creating a new account, these are some really important things to look at. One, we allow you to disable access for that new license so they, to billing, so they don't see any billing information, particularly if you are the one paying us for the license and, and separately, uh, separately sending them a master bill. You can use a default agency um, account card on file, so same option I showed you before, except this is upon account creation. Right here on the bottom, you will see all the available plans you can put this client on. And I have multiple options here. If you are using a pool of email credits and you're distributing it across, across accounts, that's one way of leveraging the VBOUT system is by getting a pool and adding a whole bunch of accounts using that pool. So let's say 100,000 emails and you're allowed to add 10 sub-accounts so you can allocate 10,000 emails per account. 
If I click on that, obviously there's no additional charge. You're paying us already for 100,000 emails monthly. And here you can say for this account, I'm gonna let's say 5, 000, assign 5,000 emails. So once I create this, the sub account will have the entire suite and their limit for a monthly email send is 5,000 emails. Now let's choose another option, which is the advanced plan. I created this plan. So here are the options here. Let me just zoom in for you. So the base package price, it's costing you to us $19.95. We're also giving you a discount on it, which is 10%. It could vary. My selling price, your selling price as an agency is $75 because you don't want to just sell it as it is. Uh, you wanna pocket some money if your client is paying for the license. So here you're pricing it at 75. We always have a processing fee in some cases. That means if the client is paying us, we're giving you back that money. There's a processing fee for credit cards. And what does the amount do to you, right? So at the end of each month, um, actually you pay us $17.96, okay? So you, and the reason you see this is because you get to choose here how the payment will be processed. If you are paying us, you'll just have the discounted rate at the end, you'll owe us $17.96. You don't wanna pay us the full $75 and then we have to calculate your uh, commission, deduct it, and it doesn't make sense. On the other hand, if you pay the selling price, that means your end client is the one adding their credit card they are the one paying for it. You will notice right here, your end earning is going to be 54.42. So we will give you a kickback every 45 days or whatever is the commission um, life pay, uh, payout is. Then you have 54.42 paid back to you via PayPal or Bankwire. Okay, so all we did is we took your selling price of $75 we minus from that 1796 and we calculated your earnings for that month. So this is how you can actually leverage and control the billing processes with VBout as well as your account management. Thank you.